observe on your program, he began his life on March 21st, 1927. He was a Nixon icon, in my opinion, because he, he had such a compassion and passion for the Nixon family, the Nixon legacy. He had an un... I mean, I, when I say it, it was... He was... Uh, he loved his family a lot and would do anything, even if it were to drive from here to Chicago, to Detroit, to New York, or wherever he needed to be. They can count on him coming. And because he was the oldest, I think that that may have been some level of... Um, of um, expectations. <laughs> as his child also. And that went through to adulthood. But he was always my big brother and always very protective. Then I graduated high school and I went away to live in New York and I used to come home. His children at that point were teenagers. And I used to come home and he would be giving his children $10, $20. And he would say, Jesse, you may as well line up too because you want them. So I used to get in the line and get $20 too. Never would have made it, never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all, but now I see how you were there for me. Never would have made it, never could have made it. granddaughter, the oldest of, I want to say, eight granddaughters. I remember the last time I came up here, he was growing some strawberries in a patch field. And I asked him, what well, did he do for strawberries? I asked him, I said, Granddaddy, I said, do you sell the strawberries like at the farm market? He told me no. And I asked him, well, why do you grow strawberries? He said, these are for the family. So not only was he um, generous, he was always concerned about family. Next time on Legacy, Milton Nixon Edition. Hello, my name is Christian Amir Thomas McLean, and we're in Evergreen, Alabama. Kenneth Mixon, Milton Mixon's oldest son, takes his grandchildren to the family cemetery to learn more about genealogy and family legacy. This is Kenwin. Howdy do! This is BJ. Ta-da! And this is our guest star, Raphael! Raphael! Who really is strong. Legacy lives on Too Much TV. Milton Nixon Edition.